Hi. How are you, darling? Oh, uh, hot. It's uh, still July right now. <laughs> um, summer's coming. It's always what summer at Metro it? Access. <laughs> <laughs> now, you'd appreciate this if it was December. Um, we'll see about that. Well, you had those funny stories, but they were weren't in the New York Times. No, they were not. Record. No, they they told us recently about uh, the Star Wars uh, play act where they fixed up the target so that it would definitely uh, be hit. They sort of, what did they, they fortified it. They heated it up. Yeah, they heated it up. That was $30 billion uh, that Congress appropriated. Then we heard that the whole Cold War was also heated up, and that's only another about $2 trillion. Is that like Michael Ray? What do we, about heated up? Well, uh, they heated it up in the newspapers uh -huh. and in the congressional committees so that, and in the War Department. Do you remember when they used to call it the War Department? Yeah. Honesty and Advertising. <laughs> and so uh, we went on a binge with the Soviet Union that destroyed the, both the Soviet Union and it obviously almost practically destroyed our own economy, two, two trillion dollars worth of nothing, or rather murder weapons. So. Anyway. Here's some more news from the Times. You see, on the first, on the front page, it says jobless rate fell to 6.8 percent, lowest in two years. Now oh, I'll read it to you. Would you? And uh, in the next day, in the uh, on the op-ed page, Bob Herbert, uh, the extreme left wing of the New York Times. I don't know. How, <laughs> I don't know how he got in there anyway. Well, he's from the Daily News. Well, X, yeah. yeah. Uh, he had something, he had a little uh, piece called The Real Jobless Rate. Uh, see, the jobless rate never counts the people who have stopped looking for work. Uh, that's at least 1.2 million workers. I think it's probably more. Then there are 6.3 million who are only partially employed, people who would really want to work. Another larger group are overqualified, you know, that's everyone in the world, <laughs> overqualified. And uh, I'd like to read this. The unemployment rate by itself doesn't describe the ultimate vul vulnerability of American workers. Not only are fewer jobs available, but the quality of the jobs has declined. Manufacturing jobs that provide relatively high wages, good benefits have yeah, been replaced by yeah. service jobs and by non-union jobs, right? Unemployed now, uh, the it's reaching the white collar workers, middle management, and uh, among the most vul vulnerable are, are those who are middle aged. Now, uh, here's another story that appeared a, a little while back in the Times. This is my favorite in the business section. Finally, a good break on wages. You know what the good break was? No. The dramatic slowdown in wage increases. <laughs> oh, it was the business page. Oh, for the so I wrote them. Uh, Friedrich actually wrote them this letter. Dear asshole editors of the New York Times, make it really good news and cut your own wages 50 percent at least. <laughs> that greatest of all boons to the employer class, a continually growing reserve army of the unemployed to constantly drive down the rate of payment to make the current wage the wage acceptable to the most desperate. Wow. Hey, That's heavy. heavy. Now, the Times is, you know, changing. <laughs> it's changing, you know, it wants to attract all kinds of people, uh, at least all the kinds of people who live, uh, who don't live uh, on the street or in uh, uh, Bed-Stuy or uh, who don't have much money. Really? So this is, uh, this was really, I was surprised to see this in the, the Times style section on a food supplement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the Cafe Ritz, can you can you can we get in on this? I don't know. You see, this is the old fucks abroad. I guess I'll have to read cool. it. Cool. The like Cafe it. Ritz. And he, and the, and the uh, maitre d' is saying, "Greeting, Monsieur et Madame. <laughs> Will that be farting or non-farting?" <laughs> well, you know that French food. And then they have their, uh, you know, they have their medical and their sex uh, section all the time. Don't they ever? And uh, I was surprised to s well, this was this was considered uh, sort of really way out for them. 
Do you do sex? Uh, not since the 60s. <laughs> uh, if you want to read Wanted more... to live by. <laughs> if you want to read, if you want to read more uh, about uh, sex the, in the, the times oh, no. and, and uh, the way uh, journalism operates as a... Uh, as part of the ruling class in this country, uh, there's a uh, journal called Lies of Our Times, and it, it doesn't only talk about the New York Times. Uh, it's a monthly, and uh, their addresses in the, and phone numbers in the Manhattan Telephone Directory. Lies of Our Times, a slogan to remember. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kupferberg.